So welcome to our second episode of Android Tips, Tricks and Secrets. And this time we've got better stuff than ever. There's a lot that you won't have seen anywhere else, and also, this stuff will change the way you use your Android device. So let's start with something simple. To begin with, we've got the Google Translate hack, and this means that as soon as you've installed Google Translate, which is 100% free from the Play Store, then anytime you want something translated, you can do it natively. You simply select the text which needs translating, and open up the dialog box, and hit translate. And that's it, the translation will just appear in a little pop-up box, and it's super convenient. Next up, we've got the File Explorer hack. And this is interesting because since Android 6.0, the company has actually introduced a way to natively browse the folders on your phone. So no, it's not game changing, it's actually adding pretty much no functionality. But what it does mean is that you don't need any third party software, so that's just wasted space. Next up, I wanted to talk about MacroDroid, which is just an amazing application. It allows you to take full control of your Android phone and program it to do different things based on certain stimuli. So this one app could let you do a thousand things that you just didn't realize your phone could do. Literally really, really cool stuff. So I'll just give you two examples. To increase the security on my phone, I've programmed it to take a photo after two failed login attempts, and not only can it do that, but it can also send the photo to my email address so I'd know instantly if someone was trying to hack. Just to demonstrate what the app could do, I made a different macro, and it means that every time the battery hits 20% or lower, the screen dims by 50%, on the condition that airplane mode is disabled. So that's kind of like a smarter version of the battery saber. Something a little more subtle, which just a surprising number of people didn't know, is that with the latest version of Android, you can instantly share images. So if you just hold your finger down, there's actually a share button at the bottom. And if you press that, then you can instantaneously send it to either your most popular contacts or an app of your choice. Now apps are just really bad. They hog up your RAM, they use your battery, and some of them even tap into your background data if you let them. But actually, you can disable that. If you go into the developer settings, there's an option called inactive apps, and just tapping on any app that you don't want to use for some time just stops it from doing all of that. So I have featured this in a different video previously, but a multi OTG cable is an absolute lifesaver. So plugging this into the micro USB port of your phone means that you actually have full PC control over it. You can plug in any USB peripherals, so that could be a mouse, it could be a keyboard, it could even be a fridge or a fan. And considering the functionality adds to your phone, it just costs nothing. I mean, for any serious work that needs to be done on Android, this can seriously speed up the job. So this is something that used to be a Motorola exclusive. You used to be able to have the screen always on, so even when the display was off, you'd have a little heads up display which showed some essential information, but now you can do it on any Android phone. There's plenty of different settings to play with, but I wouldn't recommend doing it unless your phone has an AMOLED panel, because otherwise it can take up quite a lot of battery. So then we've got Energy Bar. And let's just say I'm so surprised it doesn't have more downloads than it does. As soon as you boot it up for the first time, it adds a visual indicator of your battery life onto your status bar. On top of that, it also overlays on any app, so whether you're watching a YouTube video or playing a game, you can have that bar all the time. Obviously, you can disable it in full screen apps, but that's up to you. Also, there is so much customization. For example, you can change the direction of the bar, and you can also change which colors it displays for different battery percentages. So there we go guys, that was the Android tips, tricks and secrets. I hope this time there was more stuff that you hadn't heard of because a few of you mentioned that in the last video. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching, it really means a lot to me. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe because we've got a ton more cool stuff coming. I'm Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'm signing out.